This is how it all began. Peaceful protests calling for reform in a country where few people dared even speak out. This is how it's ended up. A country shattered by war, torn into areas held by opposing sides. So much of Syria now looks like this, and it's not just buildings that have been destroyed. And so many Syrians, no matter what side they're on, say they never realized this conflict would last so long and cost so much. Millions of Syrians have fled. Many made their way to Europe this year. Many more are thinking of it. And that's focused minds on trying to end this war. Next month, there may be peace talks. President Assad's advisor tells me they're ready. We have been always ready to talk about a political plan. But the problem is that, you, as you see, there are so many oppositions making meetings in so many cities. We have an extreme interest in talking about a political plan, in implementing a political plan. Is discussing President Assad's future still that's a red line? That's not politics, that's interference in the Syrian government and in the Syrian people. I don't know where the logic came from that any country can speak about the right of a president in another country to stay or to go. This is, this is illogical. Far from front lines, there's a new effort to strengthen the opposition. I went to see a prominent businessman, now based in London, who's part of it. I think the opposition will find it extremely difficult to go into any uh, transition if there is no clarity that the transition is going to be real. And there is going to be no real transition if, we, if people do not see that 45 years of the Assad regime is going to be over. The outlook for talks is bleak. The alternative, more war, even worse. This was the scene on the outskirts of Damascus a few days ago. War planes of Syria and its ally Russia struck here, an opposition stronghold. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Civilians paid the price again. But in Syria now, there are some quiet corners, some rebuilding in the ruins. A local truce was agreed here in the old city of Homs last year. But truces like this are rare. It took years to achieve. Many fear this war could last a generation. That's why so many have left to find a life elsewhere. Lise Doucette, BBC News, Homs.